Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Mrs. Emily Paints. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look with the Culture 2 palette by Juvia's Place. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. That way you guys can see my videos in the future. First, I'm going to be going in with this burgundy shade. I did not set my concealer, you guys. So I am applying this right on top onto my crease and my lid. You guys, these shades are so blendable. I do recommend this palette. It passes. I give it a 10. We're going to be applying this all over the lid, like I said. We're going to be putting this towards the inner corner and the outer corner. And just continue to add some more product and pack it on there until you get this beautiful burgundy color. Just look at how dark it's getting. Also, you guys, the brushes that I'm using, they're from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. So if you guys want to get them, I recommend you do. These fluffy brushes have been my favorite for years now, like I mentioned in every single video. Next, we're going to be going in with this pink shade to blend the top of that burgundy. Do not go onto your lid, you guys. Just try to keep this on the crease. Also, you guys, do not blend this color all the way to the top because we do not want it to touch our brow because we're going to be applying another color up there. After we blend this out all over the edges, we're going to be adding some more product just so that it intensifies. As you guys can see, we got a much brighter pink in this part of the video. So we're going to continue to blend this out all the way in side to side motions. And now we're going back in with the burgundy shade and we're going to be applying some more because of course with all that blending, a lot of the shade did come off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth going back in with both colors. And we're going to just make sure that they look nice and bright. And now we're going to be going in with the third shade. It's a very light, so you guys can't really see it too much here on the screen. But it's like a light brown. And we're going to be using this to blend out the top. And it's okay if you touch your eyebrow with this. Next, we're going in with some eye makeup remover liquid from Neutrogena and some pointy Q-tips because we're going to cut our crease. Also, you guys, these Q-tips are from my website. The link is down in the description if you guys want to purchase them, okay? And this is how we're going to be cleaning out this crease. We're just going to be lining this up starting from the bottom going up. Do not go too high, you guys. We still want that burgundy to be peaking at the top. And we're going to just make sure we get this all cleaned out. If you guys need a guide on up to where to clean this out, just look at how I left a small amount of space before I touch my lash line. Next, I'm going in with another Q-tip and we're going to be using that to clean out the edge. We're just going to sharpen this out. As you guys can see, I'm going upwards just so that it looks clean towards the end. Now we're going in with the Beauty Creations foundation, which I love to use as a base. And we're going to be applying this for our cut crease. And I'm using this brush from my website, you guys. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this, make sure you guys check out the link down in the description. It's part of my brush collection on there. And you guys, this is my favorite. I mentioned this in every video to cut my crease because it's so small and thin. So look at how smooth it comes on. The way I apply this usually is in tapping motions, you guys. I normally do not drag my brush, and that is what helps me create a very, very defined line. And it also helps that we clean this out with the Q-tip because it just makes it more intense without that extra eyeshadow buildup at the bottom. Remember, we're leaving off a small space before we get to the end of our lash line. As you guys can see, I'm only going to take this into this outer area right here. But I'm not going to go all the way because we still want to have that space to be able to blend later. Now I'm going in with this shimmery shade and I'm going to be applying this with a flat brush right on top. And finally, to make the look come together, I'm going back in with that light brown shade and I'm going to be applying it on this outer area right here. After that, I'm going in with the bright pink shade and we're going to be applying this right behind the brown. And then we're going in with the burgundy shade just to make the look come together. And finally, we're adding some of my Morphe mascara, which you guys, I don't even have a lot of lashes. <laughs> so I just apply a couple of coats so it blends in with my false lashes. Also, these eyelashes right here, you guys, I finally found a vendor that sells these. So these are soon going to be on my website. I will let you guys know as soon as they are for sale. <laughs> And this is the finishing look, you guys. Make sure you comment burgundy at the bottom if you watch this video all the way through so that I know that you're a real one. And also, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember to like and subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.